Oh, this is my SIP 10 inch wood saw, which I've set up for no drift. The way I've done that is, so I know that this wheel is 17mm wide, so this middle of the, of the blade needs to be halfway across that wheel. My wheel is 17mm wide, so the middle of the teeth, the back part of the teeth there, wants to run midway through that wheel. And that's your starting point. Once, you, once you've set that up there by using the adjuster on the back, lock it in place. The teeth on the blade need to be in front of the guard bearings and the thrust bearing there needs to be away from the bearing by a couple of mil. Do a couple of trial runs. If it's still slightly veering, adjust it so the blade comes out a little bit in a little, little bit at a time. Retry it. If it gets better, then adjust it again. Once, you, once it's cutting without veering, lock, lock that and then test it. By using your mitre, by using your mitre fence with a piece of wood across there, to see if it cuts square. Okay, I'm going to now run a couple of pieces of the wood through to show that there's no drift on the blade and it's cutting square on that. So that's a no drift setup. I don't believe in adjusting the fence at a slight angle to compensate for the drift. I'm now going to rip the skirting down to 100mm. The true test is to use the mortar fence to do a cross cut, make sure that it's parallel. If you follow all the steps outlined in this video, you should be able to eliminate drift from your bandsaw. If you enjoyed this video, please leave feedback, 